How to install the HP DesignJet T850 printer series. In this video, you will see how to assemble and set up the printer. We will first unbox it, assemble the stand, basket, and then configure the printer. The process will take about 90 minutes. Before you begin setting up the printer, make sure you gather all requirements. Certain assembly tasks require three people to complete them. Minimum space required is 3 times 3 meters, 118 by 118 in. Let's use a 4 or letter as minimum requirement to perform the print head alignment. The recommended is a 3 or tabloid. Required tools, Torx T25, included in the box. You will also need to connect the printer to the internet via a local area network. Note, be sure to follow the software installation instructions. Note, LAN cable not included. Important, print head is pre-installed. Note, some bags of parts in the box have a label that shows a letter and part number. Please don't remove the bag of each part before you reach to the corresponding assemble step. To assemble the printer, you will need the following parts and items. Assembly instructions flyer. Printer. Tray. Stand pieces. Left bottom cross connector, A. Right bottom cross connector, B. Left front leg, C. Left rear leg, D. Right rear leg, D. Right front leg, E. Bottom cross tube, F. Basket fabric plus tube, G. Rear cross tube, H. Brackets, I. Top cross beam, J. Screwdrivers and screws, Z ink bottles. Ink cartridges. Power cord. Cable cover. 2x refeed preventers, only for T850 MFP. Assemble preparation. Remove the protective sheet, 1, and cut the straps, 2. Take off the corner protectors, 3 and 4. Open the box and take out the pieces from the inbox material. How to assemble the printer stand. Important. Some pieces are identified with a label that includes a letter and part number. Please make sure you review this before starting the assembly. Locate the different types of elements for assembly Z. Note, there are extra screws. HP recommends completing the assembly on a table. Remove the two X bottom cross connectors, A and B, from the box. Note, they are symmetrical. Position both bottom cross connectors, A and B, on a table with the pin slash connectors of both bottom connectors facing inwards. How to prepare the stand assembly. Assemble the left side. Insert the left front leg, C, onto the front of the left bottom cross connector, A. Note, the holes must face inwards. Insert the left rear leg, D, onto the rear of the left bottom cross connector, A. Note, the holes furthest from the end go at the bottom. Important, check the holes of the legs and connector align. Fix the legs in place using two T25 screws each side. Assemble the right side. Insert the right front leg, E, onto the front of the right bottom cross connector, B. Note, the holes must face inwards. Insert the right rear leg, D, onto the rear of the right bottom cross connector, B. Note, the holes furthest from the end go at the bottom. Important, check the holes of the legs and connector align. Fix the legs in place using two T25 screws on each side. Identify the bottom cross tube, F. The holes in the letter L must face towards you. Important, note the position of the holes on the left bottom cross connector, A. Insert the bottom cross tube, F, diagonally into the slot on the left bottom cross connector, A. 
Fix the bottom cross tube, F, to the left bottom cross connector, A, with two T25 screws. Insert the bottom cross tube, F, diagonally into the right bottom cross connector, B. Fix the bottom cross tube, F, to the right bottom cross connector, B, with two T25 screws. Place the stand upright and make sure the four wheels are locked. How to assemble the basket. If you have purchased the HP Design Jet Sheet Organizer and Stacker Kit or the HP Design Jet Sheet Organizer with your printer, follow the assembly instructions of the accessory and then continue attaching the printer to the stand. Unroll the basket fabric, G, and insert the rear cross tube, H. Diagonally insert the left and right brackets, I, to the rear cross tube, H, by pushing them into place. Fix them in place using four T25 screws on each side. Note, two people recommended for the assembly. Fix the rear cross tube, H, to the rear legs, with two T25 screws on each side. Slot the two tubes into the basket frame, G. Insert the tubes into the slots at the front of both bottom cross connectors. Push them firmly into place until you hear a click. Remove the top cross beam, J, from the box. Note, there are letters to indicate the left L and right R side. Make sure you identify the front and back of the stand. Position yourself in front of the stand and carefully connect the top crossbeam, J, to it. Fix the top crossbeam, J, to the stand with four T25 screws on the left and right side. Attach the printer body to the stand assembly. Important, two people are required. Remove the top box, open and pull down the corner protectors from the box, and lift up the box to remove it. Pull and remove the end caps. Uncover the printer by tearing open and pulling down the bag. Move the printer close to the stand, then with two people, lift the printer body by holding the base. Important, two people are required. Lower the printer into position onto the top crossbeam of the stand. Important, three people are required. Caution, take care not to catch your fingers. Use a third person to adjust the stand position and guide the printer into the correct position. From underneath, fix the right side of the printer to the stand with two T25 screws. Note, there are marks on the printer that indicate the position of the screws. From underneath, Fix the left side of the printer to the stand with two T25 screws. Note, there are marks on the printer that indicate the position of the screws. Packaging removal. Locate the two refeed preventer mounts on the scanner input platen. Clip the two refeed preventers into position on the mounts. Remove the orange tape from the top and rear of the printer. Open the main door. Carefully rotate and remove the two pins from inside of the printer. Then open the print head carriage door. Remove the foam and close back. Open the roll cover and remove the two spindle tapes. Remove the retainers and cardboard.
Close the roll cover. Install the tray. Remove the tapes and the desiccant bag. Remove the HP Virtual Assistant label from its bag. Note, you will find both black and white labels. HP recommends to use the white label for these printer series. Attach it to the printer in a place where it can be easily seen. HP's virtual assistant is always there to troubleshoot issues at any time of the day or night. Set up the printer. Connect the power cable. Connect a LAN cable, not included. Note, if you prefer to connect via Wi-Fi, no need to connect the LAN cable. Please follow the instructions on the control panel. Route the Ethernet cable and power cable through the cable clips. Install the cable cover. Note, make sure all the covers all closed before power on the printer. Once all the cables are connected, check that the printer is on. The control panel will now guide you through setup. System setup. Select your preferred language. Confirm the system language. Select your country and region. Connectivity setup. For the connectivity setup you have two methods, wireless or Ethernet. The printer will connect to the internet to check for required updates. Once connectivity setup finishes, the printer will automatically search for firmware upgrades if available. Ink system setup. Open the ink cartridge cover on the rear right-hand side of the printer. Insert the new ink cartridge. Make sure that you insert the ink cartridge into the slot that has the same colored letter as the cartridge you are installing. Close the ink cover. This takes approximately 7 minutes. Once the process is finished, the control panel will show a confirmation message that says ink cartridge installation successfully completed. Print head alignment. Note, the printer uses the A4 slash letter page format for the print head alignment process. The printer will automatically calibrate for best print quality. The printer will start with the automatic print head alignment. Once the process is finished, the control panel will show you a successfully completed automatic print head alignment. Printer and software setup. The printer will automatically generate a unique pairing code to continue software setup. Go to hpsmart.com slash go to complete the printer and software setup. Note, HP Smart Setup and pairing the printer can be performed after completing the out of the box. Find more helpful videos on our HP Support YouTube channel.